Good morning, Elmont Elementary School. Mr. Shell coming from the school garden today. It's a little breezy out. I can't believe we can see the garden now. All the snow is melting. Goodbye, snow. It's been nice knowing you. Today's date is March 11, 2021. Fun fact for you today. It's impossible to sneeze with your eyes open. Try it. No, not really. But next time, maybe you'll remember this fun fact from March 11th. We would like to mention there are 10 guidelines for using take a break as a positive and supportive teaching strategy. Number one, start by proactively teaching expected behaviors. Kids, do you know all your expected behaviors? I bet you know a lot of them. Number two, explain the purpose of take a break. Number three, choose a good spot. Number four, explicitly teach take a break procedures. Number five, use take a break earlier rather than later. Number six, decide if take a break is appropriate. For instance, using take a break for fidgeting may not be appropriate if the student needs more physical activity or a different seating arrangement, like maybe sitting on a chair instead of sitting on the floor, for example. For other students, a break may be just what is needed to get those fidgets under control. A child who has completely lost control, and we call that the red zone, is beyond take a break. Also, if students are routinely going to take a break and we're not seeing any improvement in their behavior or their frustration tolerance, if we're still seeing yellow zone, yellow zone, yellow zone, and take a break isn't working, or if they crumple up or become distraught at even one use of take a break, the child may need a different strategy. Kids, you might need a different strategy than take a break, but we will give it a shot. All right. Today for lunch, you might have popcorn chicken with a dinner roll, potato emojis, and a milk. Your other choice is a grape uncrustable, light mozzarella string cheese, potato emojis, and a milk. We say welcome to Mr. Whalen today. Thanks for choosing our school as a guest staff member. And now it's time for our Pledge of Allegiance. Please join me if you'd like. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we have a couple of friends this morning. Good morning, kids. Hope you have a great day today. Woohoo! And thank you, kids. And remember, the one who learns is the one who does the work. work. That's right. Have a great day.